All right, guys. It is a gray, gloomy, rainy first day of fall. Uh, what a surprise. We're going to wind up the rainiest day, I think, in Finger Lakes history, the rainiest summer in history. And uh, it keeps right on coming here on this rainy, gloomy day in the collapse of global industrial civilization, the first day of the fall of 2021. Good Lord. Uh, that would make it Wednesday, September 22nd, 2021, where I have been, uh, been celebrating my, my, uh, introduction into officially being an old, an old man. I am now officially an old man today at age 62, and, uh, good Lord, I, I do need to send out a huge thank you to my old buddy Marty Knudsen. This is who I, I expect Marty Knudsen is a uh, is a pseudonym. Never know who Mar Marty is. One of my uh, one of my guardian angels here on YouTube. Haven't heard from Marty in a long while. I was afraid we had lost Marty to the Corona panic or something. But Marty, as always, I really appreciate your kind support of whatever it is I do on my <clears throat> on YouTube on my birthday or any other day and uh, glad you're still with us and believe me your dues are paid up 300 times over but speaking of someone whose dues are paid over I'm not sure this is from JJ I we have two brother JJ's here I'm not sure which brother JJ this is from I'm thinking it it's from my good buddy out in um, out in New Mexico who I haven't heard from in a while but anyway JJ if that's you uh, good to hear from you too brother and so JJ his mind on the opening day of fall is he's going back 252 million years not just looking back 62 years he's looking back 252 million years to the Permian extinction. Uh, this is a regular recurring theme for anybody trying to figure out what could be the end of us. Uh, this is from this outfit which I read from before called fizz.org. And I honestly am a little confused here on this article. I, it, it never mentions the words hydrogen sulfide anywhere in this article, which I don't know how you, but, but, but anyway, so I, I honestly don't know if this is an article about hydrogen sulfide or not, but it's about uh, how the planet collapsed 250 million years ago and very well could be how we're going down this time around. Uh, it's not the first person. This is a study out of the University of Connecticut. Take it away. Fizz.org. Animals died in toxic soup during Earth's worst mass extinction. A warning for today. They do say history repeats itself. Uh, I'm going to put the link on here. You can read this for yourself. I'm not going to get to all of it, but I think you'll get the uh, gist of it. <clears throat> the end Permian mass extinction event of roughly 252 million years ago, the worst such event in Earth's history, well, until now, has been linked to vast volcanic emissions of greenhouse gases, a major temperature increase, and the loss of almost every species in the oceans and on land. Now, it seems that even the lakes and rivers, now it seems that even the lakes and rivers back then were no safe havens. A recent study published by an international team of researchers, including professor and head of the Department of Geosciences, Tracy Frank, and Professor Chris Fielding uh, at the University of Connecticut, has identified a new cause of extinction during extreme warming events. 
toxic microbial blooms. Where have we heard about uh, toxic microbial blooms ramping up all over the planet? You can go right here uh, in the lakes around uh, Ithaca, New York, and there's warning signs about toxic microbial blooms. Uh, don't let your little dog get anywhere near uh, some of the lakes up here. <clears throat> In a healthy ecosystem, microscopic algae and cyanobacteria provide oxygen to aquatic animals as a waste product of their photosynthesis. But when their numbers get out of control, these microbes deplete free oxygen and even release toxins into the water. I'm not sure, I, again, if this, is, if this hydrogen sulfide is one of these toxins they're talking about. By studying the fossil sediment and chemical records of rocks uh, near Sydney, Australia, the researchers discovered that several pulses of bloom events had occurred soon after the first volcanic rub rumblings of the end Permian mass extinction. Once the bottom feeder animals, you know, where all of this stuff sinks to, once the bottom feeder animals or detritivores were killed off, there was no one left to keep the microbes in check. The freshwater systems then seethed with algae and bacteria delaying the recovery of animals for perhaps millions of years. Frank and Fielding uh, study sediment and Professor Frank explains their contribution to the work. Uh, blah blah blah. Um, was in gleaning details about the conditions of the environment and the resulting toxic soup from the layers of s sediment. Uh, okay, the three main ingredients for the toxic soup are accelerated greenhouse gas emissions, high temperatures, and abundant nutrients. The volcanic eruptions provided the first two, and I'm a little bit confused here. I thought volcanic eruptions, well, so they release a bunch of greenhouse gases, but I always thought that volcanic eruptions cooled the temperatures. You know, the particulate matter outweigh the greenhouse gases, but for whatever, I guess maybe these were uh, volcanic eruptions without much soot in them. Who knows? Uh, for whatever reason, the, those volcanoes 250 million years ago uh, gave us the greenhouse gas emissions with the uh, attendant high temperatures, while sudden deforestation uh, calls the third, which was providing the abundant nutrients. When the trees were wiped out, hmm, trees being wiped out, huh? Can't imagine that happening on the planet. The soils bled into the rivers and lakes, providing all the nutrients that the microbes would need. And of course, uh, back then we did not have, you know, sewage systems and agricultural runoff and uh, septic systems and eight billion humans uh, adding all of this stuff to the soil going into all of the rivers and oceans and everywhere else. Uh, all right, so when the trees are wiped out, the soils bled into the rivers and lakes. Um, when the researchers compare the fossil records of different warming-related mass extinctions, the team found extremely similar fossil records. Wow, this implicates deadly microbial blooms as repeat offenders of fresh water extinctions during extreme warming events. Do you think so? Today, humans have been following this recipe. 
and freshwater microbial blooms have been on the rise, illustrating how important the geosciences are in understanding the past in ways that offer crucial context for understanding contemporary changes in climates, quoting uh, Dr. Frank. We are seeing more and more toxic algae blooms in lakes and in shallow marine environments that is related to increases in temperature and changes in plant communities which are leading to increases in nutrient contributions to freshwater environments, you know, going hand in hand with the uh, global temperature rising, you know, from the greenhouse gas emissions. So, a lot of parallels to today. The volcanism was a source of CO2 in the past, but we know that the rate of CO2 input that was seen back then was similar to the rate of CO2 into CO2 increases we're seeing today because of anthropogenic otherwise known as human caused effects we can get a sense of how much climate has changed in the past what the extremes are how fast it can change what the causes of climate change are and that gives us a nice backdrop for understanding what is happening today. Um, then uh, they go and check out the IPCC report. According to this year's IPCC report, the influence of humans on the changing climate is unequivocal creating conditions that favor the spread of these warmth-loving microbes in combination with the influx of nutrients from water pollution, mostly from agriculture and deforestation, this has led to sharp increases in toxic blooms today. The results, mass fish die-offs, severe human and livestock health effects, and an annual cost measurable in billions of dollars, says Fielding, quote, the end Permian is one of the best places to look for parallels with what is happening now. The other big parallel is that the increase in temperatures at the end of the Permian coincided with massive increases in forest fires. Huh. One of the things that destroyed whole ecosystems was fire, and we are seeing that right now in places like California. That was one of the articles I thought about reading, is how these ecosystems in California with each passing year are less and less able to rebound from these increasingly intense forest fires. Getting back to fielding with the big the big $64,000 question, one wonders what the longer term consequences of events like that as as they are becoming more and more widespread, close quote. These are clearer symptoms of an unbalanced ecosystem, and the present study indicates that the impacts of bloom events can echo for an extremely long time. Uh, then they, they, they actually try to inject some hopium at this point. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> and says Fielding, quote, The scary thing is we are used to thinking in, ter in terms of time scales of years, maybe tens of years if we get really adventurous. The end Permian mass extinction event took four million years to recover from. That is sobering. 
Yep, 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 yep. That is sobering. And uh, anyway, uh, get out there and enjoy the fall of 2021. Uh, looks like we could be looking at the first flash flood watch of 2021. Uh, tomorrow, on the second day of the fall of 2021, there is no end to it. Uh, I am in the middle of digging my flood control uh, channel around my little shack uh, to kick off my 63rd year on the planet. It will be a rocket ride, no doubt. Are you ready for the rocket ride of the fall of 2021, little dog? Bye, guys. Yeah, 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 you survived. You did not go extinct during that rant. And you can go get some food now. They can go get you some of that factory farmed turkey bacon dog food. All right, some turkey bacon for the little dog. You ready for some turkey bacon? I want some turkey bacon or not.